Right. Well, as you saw last week, we we got together with some of the back four and Michael just to sort of go through who they thought was their most difficult opponent of the season. Um, initially, we were looking at individual players, but it's all turned into a lancing, basically. So what are your guys' thoughts? Who, who did you come up against sort of individually or team-wise as the most difficult sides that we played last year? Or difficult people you played against last year? Who wants to take yeah. it? Lance in. <laughs> <laughs> Only played one game. <laughs> My name. Yeah, no, Lance, Lance, Lance in by a country mark. I think um, Matt Hill at half decent, but realistically, they couldn't move the ball. Obviously, with Lance in, we understood and we understood how they played, so the second league was a different ball game. But at the same time, Lance in the way they moved the ball with a little bit more, like give them a year and they'll be unbelievable. They, they'll be league above. Most of their players won't. I, I can't imagine them staying, but yeah, Lance in for me. I don't know about they, you, boys. I think they were clever in the way that they um, they rotated so well through midfield, Lance in. Like they, nobody was sort of fixed to a position. They were happy to sort of drop in and drop out. And we were we were like tracking runners instead of passing people on. It was creating huge spaces for them to go and play in. But they're, they're right back um, in the first leg for about 40 minutes. Absolutely tore us to shreds. I think he won yeah. the penalty for their first goal. Uh, the second goal, he was on the so the right side of the, the box. Yeah. So obviously right back, he's on the wrong side of the pitch. And people are looking at the midfielders going, why aren't you picking him up? And trying to say, well, I've got my, everyone's, every midfielder's got a man. That's the right back. And he's he's played the ball in for their striker to score as well, I think. Um, the wingers were coming in. Fancy him either. He was gone within five minutes. So it was... <laughs> uh, no, I thought he was very good. And then he was quite quiet in the second game by the standards he set in the first. But he was... So so, do you think overall that they were genuinely the toughest opposition that we had no. this season? This season? Yeah. I think so. Yeah? They can't be. We beat them and drew with them. They didn't even beat us. They can't be our toughest opposition, can they? Yeah, but well, I think they, they drew the most out of us. They made us up things that no one else has brought us to that this season. Gonna, the thing is... If we you literally take, had a half-time meeting. Literally a meeting at half time where we were all around the bench literally looking at the board and taking shit in like that was a meeting rather than a team talk and I, I think you were lucky as well because as much as obviously that's how it ended but we could have been like six or seven down in that first half like it was a, but they, we could have got them goals back in the second half we did yeah, miss a couple yeah, yeah. of real good chances in that first half do you, do you not, yeah. Danny's just Danny's knocking so I'm going to let him in yeah I was going to say do you not think that we had as, as hello Dan is oh, can it, that looks legal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's obviously in the passenger seat. That's Andy. Yo, how are you? All right, how are you? All right mate. How's your, how's your legs? We were just discussing Lansing. Yeah. The boys were just discussing Lansing. They, they, they all unilaterally. Oh, someone's who's gone? Pitsy. Yeah. They unilaterally feel that Lansing was the best opposition last year. Oh, without doubt, in my opinion. Nah, not for me. Who's yours then, Uh, I, I, I thought Eastbourne, I know we beat them 3-0, but we didn't touch the oh. ball apart from the four times. We had three shots on goal scored, I think. And we had, they had one man sent off after about four minutes, didn't they? Mate, uh, to be fair, yeah. to be fair, I didn't play that game, but it looked horrible. It looked like... <laughs> You like was, yeah, I didn't play that either. And they went down to 10 and it didn't change. Eastbourne. Yeah. Eastbourne, that was my hardest game by far. They were very good when I watched them, to be fair. I, I was, I, I have to say, when I went and watched Eastbourne, I, I was more impressed with them. And I knew how Lansing was going to play. I, I knew you could see how Lansing would set and they had, they had one way to play and I think that's why we did so well against them in the replay because we, mm. we knew how they played and we adjusted and we did what we needed to do and it made their plan A pretty non-effective in the, in the yeah. replay I thought but Eastbourne I think we, we got them on a really good day 
Yeah. But, but if honestly, like the way they dictated the ball with ten men was ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen a team at any level that I've played in do that with ten men ever. Yeah. Um, normally, that you you would feel as a, as being on the pitch, oh, they've gone down to ten men. We're going to dominate this, and we never. No. <laughs> even, even though we scored, for, uh, did we beat them three 0 Yeah. Yeah. Even though we beat them three 0 <laughs> when you walked off the pitch, it did not feel like we beat them three 0 yeah. Even when the third went in, I was a little bit like, right, we've got to keep our heads here because there's one chance to get back in it and they can really cause us some problems. Like, yeah. was, even then, I didn't feel comfortable. I think no. the big thing and with it, them was that the, the Tuesday night before, their sort of leading scorer who been sort of banging in two or three a game, chased the last minute ball over the top, took a whack to the face and was out because he had concussion. Okay. They were they were they were they were three or four one up at the time. I went and watched the game, and it was like the ninety third minute, and he's chased the ball into the corner, and the keeper's I think it was the keeper who smashed the ball straight into his face at point blank range, and literally knocked him off his feet, and that right and that that ended up concussion. Yeah, concussion took him out of our game. Yeah, I, re- I reckon eleven against eleven, that game would have been a long day because even with ten. It felt like they had an extra man. Yeah. <laughs> like we were still chasing shadows. Yeah. Are we not including? Are we not including Dorkin? Because uh, I weren't at Dorkin, but so. you lot made that seem like that nah, was we, hell. I don't think we can because but one, I don't think we went our strongest team. But I still think it would have been okay. a long day. But that game was ridiculous. But watching that done. game was watching it was tiring. Yeah. Being that they're step two as well, though, you you expect that but from sort of sides at our level. Last year, that gal, but I don't think I don't think a, a fairly full strength Sutton did that to us a couple of years ago. In the you know they they that was a national league side that put out mm. seven of Aaron, starters. I'll be honest, that Sutton game is the toughest game I've played in like the last five years. Yeah, that Dorking that, game, that game was a joke. Gaffer turns to me after about an hour and says, "I'm going to give you the night off." Um, <laughs> Tonight, I was like, "Oh no, I was desperate to get out there and turn the game around." Like, please, <laughs> <fuck> now. <laughs> like, yeah, Mate, no, that 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 game was ridiculous. Like, seriously, that that was that was bad. But I think if if we go full strength against them, they would still probably do what they did, just not as bad. Yeah. Um, their, their rotation, the way they moved off the ball, was like I expect that at that level, but it was very good. They were very good. That was that was where I thought they were quite similar to Lansing in the first game. Yeah. I, thought the, I thought the movement and, and maybe Eastbourne as well to a certain degree. I think it was their movement off the ball in all those games that we struggled to deal with for me at the mm. time. I mean that was yeah. the, 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 the something that we need to be mindful of going forward and we need to understand better. Mm. If I had to choose individual players uh, to come up against midfielders can't really remember much. I know one game which was yeah. Ballam away. Their left back when I started right mid, I just thought, listen, today's not the day for all of this. <laughs> or that type of day. He literally just kicks straight through me every single challenge. Mm. Ball, no ball or not, it just kicks straight through me. And I just thought, this is long. And then I remember going inside and I thought, all right, freed it up. The next game when we played them at home, Ollie came to me sitting the same stuff. And I was just <laughs> laughing, thinking, oh, so you've got to stay out there, bro, because I ain't going out there. You've got to go out there and just deal with that. Because he's just kicks through everything. And he's he's not slow. He's strong. Everything, yeah. Long day. It was That that was Ballam, was it, Dad? Yeah. Ballam's left back, the short black guy. Right. Absolute problem. Why? Why does he have to be black? Why couldn't it be just a guy? Because he's black. I have to distinguish, isn't it? <laughs> where are you going, Dan? <laughs> Dan, where are you going? Me, I'm going out. It's been a dog walk. <laughs> the uh, the old boy playing up front for Nafield tore us to shreds. That bunion. So one yeah, he did, he did, yeah, he Perry, did. Perry. I think I play these games, you know. I'm so fuming. Perry every Cole goal, the Bunyan. Yeah, every goal. Both. One, Both every. It was a good link up, to be fair. Both. Couldn't cope with it at all. Did uh, any of them used to play for Hartley Whitney? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Bunyan was always at Camberley, wasn't he? Yeah, Cole, Coles was at Hartley for a bit, wasn't he? 
he was. He was at Farnborough for a while. Oh, bro, he? Yeah. yeah. He scored a good goal in that game, though. Mm. Yeah. But for all their players, though, the one who impressed me the most was a kid centre midfield. Is it French? I think he was a number four. Is he the one that used to play for Hartley Whitney as well? Yeah. 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 Uh, he was like uh, he he was he was tidy, covered every blade of grass, and, like second balls. Scored, didn't he? Hard to tackle. Now that Obviously, you said I've that, I have a certain level of appreciation for players like that. So yeah, think. now that you said that, um, even though it was difficult conditions to even get tight to someone, Egham's ginger centre mid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. was very good. And Dan, that's just because he's ginger, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> clear that up, clear that up. Very good, very good. Uh, yeah, that, he was quite a good player, actually. I had him confused with someone else in the day. I thought he was somebody else. He was busy, actually, that lad, yeah. Uh, he was busy. Yeah, if we had had 11 players that day, it would have been different. Yeah. Yes, against us that day. He didn't even move out of like a metre square radius. Like. Who's that, the, the, the big bloke up front? Yeah, he like barely moved all day and scored a hat trick. About- Faz was fuming with our defence. <laughs> Every time Faz <laughs> ran past me, it was a comment, bro. It was fuming. Oh, it was so bad. It's not even like he was working hard to create space for himself or anything. Just stand next to him. Yeah, he was, he, it, was, it, it wasn't a good day for us in terms of defending him, that's for sure. He, he, he did cause his problems. And his mobility yeah, was real. painful. Yeah. Almost called a worldie that day as well, didn't he? Yeah, right at the end, wasn't it? Yeah. Kid, was it right back or right midfielder? The right midfielder that came on. Yeah. 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 Little worldie. Are there any other sort of midfielders stand out for you guys that were difficult to play against? I don't remember any. Bryce Church at Sandfield, he was massive. He could hit the penalty box with a throw from anywhere. He was everything he did just turned us around again. Like that's he wasn't a Ron Frost. He just kicked the ball long though, isn't it? Ron yeah, Frost. Like but that's the thing though, Pitt. Inside we got, it seemed like it was just a long throw and nothing else. He was actually their go to player to get the ball. Yeah, but you lot didn't press him though. You you lot sat off him. He ran yeah, away. He, he, he ran away every hard. single time. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's not like we didn't adapt the formation in there where we went like yeah. a, almost like a zigzag midfield, like a holding one midfielder and one to press yeah. it. We just went one and two and sat off him and let him do because it. Because it was because it was hard because he would drop right into the centre backs, pick mm. it up, and like you said, it's only spinning in one area. Mm. So, so if you get caught out that high. Second ball is where the ball's dropping because you know mm. press on him. He only he's doing everything one touch. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, all he wanted to do though was put it into an area where they could pull to throw him, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's exactly what he did. So, yeah. Sort of Playing football really just playing massively at your strengths. Percentages, isn't it? Yeah. And they ended up scoring from it. Yeah. yeah, I mean the law of averages said how many how many long throws did they have? They had mm. must have been loads. Four hundred and seventy six. Putting the ball back post from virtually anywhere. 